As researchers, it's important that we're able to talk to people about the research and why we think it's important. And that's why Baylor College of Medicine has made these Ask Me About My Research pins to encourage us researchers here at Baylor to uh, talk about our research with other people. So I'm here with my daughter, Nana, who's going to ask me some questions about the research I do. What kind of research do you do? As you know, I'm a neurosurgeon, so I do surgery on the brain. Um, but at the same time, I also do research on the brain. And what my research is really interested in is trying to figure out how different parts of the brain work. Why do you like to do this research? The brain is this kind of ball of jelly between our ears. And it controls a lot of the things that we do, kind of everything that we do, because there's all these little circuits in the brain. Some of them help us move. Some of them help us think. Some of them help us feel happy and sad. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes those circuits are not working properly in some people. So maybe because of an injury, maybe they got in an accident, you know, maybe they had something that they were born with that didn't allow it to form quite properly. And, you know, they're having a lot of difficulties in life. Like some of them, for example, you know, can't move properly. They have what's called Parkinson's disease, which maybe you've heard of that. Maybe they have depression or maybe they have some other problem. What I'd love to do is to sit down and, and talk to them, try to figure out, you know, what it is that is bothering them and then put on my researcher hat for a little while and think, it sounds like you know, these particular parts of the brain are not working properly. So can we use some of the tools that I have as a researcher and also use the ability that I have as a surgeon to you know, put those two things together and figure out the right way to make this person feel better? And it's the best feeling. What if you don't have the tools that you need to research? Yeah, that's a great question. What do you think we could do? Um, if, you, if you wanted to try to do something, but you you weren't sure you had the right tools to do it. What you could, you could ask other people. Exactly. And so being at a place uh, like here at Baylor College of Medicine, we may not be able to figure something out right away, but we can have some meetings, we can talk about, well, this is what I know, and someone else will say, well, this is what I know. And then we can all come together and say, well, what if we do this, and you, know, you can help me do this, and I'll help you do that. And then all of a sudden there's a whole new thing that didn't exist before. Yeah. And that happens all the time. I mean, there's some things that we do really well and we can just roll them out and, and help people. There's other patients that have problems that we don't understand. We don't know why they're acting like this or moving like that or feeling like this. And that's when we really need to put our heads together and come up with new and better ways of figuring out what the problem is first and then figuring out what we can do to help. 